Hi everyone. Today, Zmotion talks about how to use RTC's programming software. First of all, let's see what is RTC. RTC is one development software launched by Zmotion. It integrates motion control and machine vision functions. That is, it can use RT Basic, RT PLC, RT HMI, and RT Vision to develop. And mix programming is okay. In addition, it is with rich functions like real time simulation, online tracking, diagnosis debug, etc. Not only complex motion control system development can be achieved, including vision positioning, vision detection, vision measurement, and vision identification. Before editing, connection is very convenient. It only needs to use serial port or Ethernet port to connect PC and controller. Then, editing directly in RTCs. When completed, download it into the motion controller directly. It can run offline or run on PC simulator. In RTCs, several kinds of programming are valid, but RT Basic is recommended because it supports multitask operation. For PLC, only one task is supported. For HMI, only two tasks are supported. It can be seen RT Basic is more convenient. And actually, basic task, PLC task, and HMI task can run at the same time. Okay, next, let's show and operate some functions in RTCs directly. Open RTCs, connect to controller firstly. Here, we connect to simulator. Then, the corresponding simulator window pops up. Or you could connect the simulator through its IP. The address is this one. Okay, connected again. It can be seen there are many tools in menu. Under controller menu. Let's see the controller state. Here shows some basic parameters. Axis, IP, task, etc. This one, firmware controller means update controller's firmware. This one, modify IP address. IP address can be done directly. Compare project. It means compare project in RTCs with project in controller. OK, let's operate it. Build one new project. Before that, a new folder had been created. Name the project and save it into the folder. Then, build one new file. Here, create one basic file. Now, we can edit here. And in help document, there are several manuals. English manual, please contact us or visit our website to download. Take a simple example. Move linear interpolation. Copy one routine and paste it in here. Then download it. There are two ways. Download ROM, it will save when power off. Download RAM, it will not save when power off. When debugging, usually use RAM. It is downloaded, but one error is also reported. That is, there is no auto run number. It only needs to set the task number for file. The number can be any value, no priority. Then download into RAM again. And now axes are moving. At the same time, we can use oscilloscope to watch clearly. And the usage can be checked from RTC's help file. From the routine, there are three axes. So there also should be axis 0, axis 1, and axis 2. The data type can be DPoS or MPoS. The vertical scale can be modified at any time. OK, start. There is one trigger command. Download it directly. Now it captures data automatically. And here mode can be selected. XYZ mode or XY mode or YT mode. When there is no trigger command, it needs trigger it manually. Click this, then download again to run it. OK, basic file relative information is over. Let's see PLC file and HMI file. 
Please remember to set auto run number for them. Or use run command in basic to call them to run. These are tools and functions of PLC. For HMI, it is one interface editing file. We can add elements freely. Now, there are three files. Let's debug them. Select the first one. Here, their running situation can be checked in real time. And if you wanna watch one certain value, write it into here. Corresponding value is shown right. So this is the debug function. Let's see other tools and functions of RTCs. This one, manual motion. It is used to move access manually. Match it with access parameter window. Access parameter window. Here, select access number and relative access content. Let's select access 0 and access 1. And move them in manual window. Left. Then value in access parameter window changes also. That is, access moves according to manual. Also, we can make it move to absolute distance. For example, 0, it can be seen the paths are 0. Next one in. Also, import selection. Then, use simulator to give signals. Corresponding in number will receive the signal, the color will become green. Then out. The same rule. Next, register. There are many register types. Table here, starting number is 0 and red 100s. Now, the data are here. We can modify it through online command. Send it out, modify directly. Then, a D, D A. It means analog input and output. Here, simulator is connected. We can set value for it directly. The voltage is became. Next, troubleshooting. Then it is easy to find the exact reason. The next one is bus state diagnosis. Corresponding reasons also are shown here. The last one plugin. You can add one plugin freely. Here, one HMI simulator plugin has been added. If you want to add one, please contact us or refer to RTC's help file. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for your watching. And welcome to communicate with us. Have a nice day. Bye.